Hello Capricorn, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your energies, what's going on between you and your connection, and where is it all headed. As always, it's a general love reading Capricorn, so it will not resonate with every single Capricorn watching. So if this does not resonate at all, then check out your um, playlist. I have a whole playlist just for Capricorn, and there's a lot of videos there, and one of them might resonate more for you. Um, so let's just jump right in for Capricorn. All right, Spirit, what is going on in this connection for Capricorn? This reading will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind for Capricorn, please. What is going on in this connection, Spirit, between Capricorn and the person they are thinking about at this time? soulmate yes this is your soulmate first card out okay that one too religious factors okay so this could be like um a soulmate in divine timing i just got like past life connection which i usually don't get with this card because there's like a whole card in this deck specifically for that but i'm getting that message especially because of this other card religious factors Almost like, um, I just keep hearing the word guided, like guided, guided together, guided towards each other. And so that's making me think that this could also be, um, a past life connection. Let's see anything else, spirit, any other insight that you can give us regarding this connection for Capricorn? Any other insight, please? Or Capricorn. Oh, I got two. Okay, we got walking away, first card out. Okay, and then we got attachment. So clearly there could be somebody who is walking away from some sort of past attachment or something from the past. Um, this card attachment is usually card about being kind of chained to the past. Notice how they have kind of like a chain around their hand in this photo. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but um, it looks like someone walked away from that, from that energy, or maybe that's what's going on right now. So let's see. I have two decks here, one for you, one for your person. So I don't think you can see that very well. Move these up. So I'll start with your energies, Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn's energy in this connection. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. We got the Emperor Reverse Aries energy. And the King of Pentacles. Interesting, these two are very opposite energies. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. We got the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Um, these two cards are making me think of someone who's already in a long-term commitment, this King of Pentacles. Um, or perhaps this is um, the energy of someone who is the head of a family, the provider of a family. Um, financially, there is a tie there to a home or a family situation. This is on your end, Capricorn, but of course, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy with the King of Pentacles. Um, it could be that you're coming into this energy as well from an Emperor Reverse to a King of Pentacles. The Emperor Reverse typically feels powerless, like a situation is out of their control. Um, and the King of Pentacles is not like that. They're very careful, uh, practical. 
So let's see. Let's see more of your energy. Tell me more, Spirit for Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy, Spirit. What energy are they bringing to this connection at this time? Yeah, the buffalo, very similar, very grounded, level-headed, careful energy with the buffalo. The buffalo knows their challenges ahead, but they just stay the course. Nothing kind of sways them off course, basically. They're very steady. I think this is the energy that you're thinking about, or perhaps your person is like this, and this is how you are viewing them. We'll see when we clarify further, but... Let me get one more card. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here. This is a physical deck that I created and you can um, get more details on this deck below in the description box. Standing firm, see what I'm saying? This is the energy. Defense resistance purge. You're standing firm against any challenge with the standing firm card. Very steady firm energy here and then bottom of the deck I have inner voice so it's like your intuition is speaking to you guiding you maybe you've withdrawn to really figure something out let's see tell me more about this emperor reverse the emperor reverse could also be some uh some of a somewhat of a controlling energy someone who is um has a temper or it doesn't deal with things well so we'll see tell me more about this emperor reverse why is the emperor reverse here the magician reverse hmm tell me more about the emperor reverse more clarity for Capricorn please Knight of Cups reverse so all of these together unfortunately Capricorn this is energy I don't like this energy especially all of these cards together it, it tells me of someone who could be manipulative someone who says what you want to hear someone who um, There's something off there. And then I have the moon at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like there's an illusion here. Something that's hidden underneath the surface. Um, something that is confusing. There's doubt. There's possibly fear. But more than anything, there's almost like a distraction here with the moon card. And this is Pisces energy. Can I get one more? I just want to double check that this is not you disappointed or heartbroken at the fact that you cannot make something happen because I can't see that as well. Can I get a clarifying card please for these two energies, the Magician Reverse and the Knight of Cups Reverse Spirit? Can you tell me more about these two energies? Six of Cups. There's the past. Past life connection as well I'm seeing. So, hmm, you know, I'm seeing two very, I'm, I'm still seeing the same messages, but it's almost like they've gotten worse. I feel like if, the, if you're dealing with someone that's man manipulative or difficult to deal with Capricorn, I feel like they use the past and the good memories against you. Or almost like they're trying to remind you of the good times or what has happened in the past or, or they're trying to keep you in the past. But I'm also picking up, if this is you trying to bring back stability to something and not being able to manifest it and being disappointed and heartbroken about it, I feel like it's because you're remembering the good times. Can I get one more clarifier, please? For the Magician Reverse. And the Knight of Cups Rivers. I'm seeing it both ways. Let's see if I can get 
a little more clarity here, Spirit. I need some more clarity for the Magician Reverse and the Knight of Cups Reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is this is that spirit card. This is divine timing. There's something going on here spiritually. Whatever this is, basically what spirit I feel is trying to tell me is regardless of what side you're on, what camp you're on, um, if this is you dealing with a manipulative person or if this is you heartbroken over what you haven't been able to bring back into balance, I feel like regardless, it's meant to happen. And there's going to be some sort of movement forward here. A lucky break or a change with the wheel. And it's regarding something to do with a past person, a soulmate. Let's see. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. I feel like Spirit is telling me, telling me to focus on the positive side and not really focus on the details here of what this could be because it's almost like it's, it's irrelevant. What's relevant is that something's going to change here. Actually, let's ask Spirit, why is the, what's this Wheel of Fortune about? Wow. The Empress Reverse and the Nine of Pentacles Reverse. It's about some sort of an attachment. An attachment to something that hasn't grown or manifested. Can I get one more for the Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Where's the Wheel of Fortune here for Capricorn? Yeah, this is this is regarding possibly a broken commitment, something that was difficult or heartbreaking. You have the Three of Swords here with the Six of Pentacles reversed. This was some sort of a loss here, possibly. Um, a breakup or just a financial hardship, something that didn't work out. And there's an attachment here, possibly a financial attachment. There's going to be a big change about that. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, this is somebody that's really thinking. You, listening to their intuition, the hermit, listening to their intuition, trying to figure out their next step, seeking answers here. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. What's this King of Pentacles about? Knight of Wands reverse. Again, I feel like this is someone that's thinking about a situation or a person. And it, there was something off with that person. Like they couldn't be trusted or they weren't somebody to depend on or they made promises they couldn't keep. And now there's someone like withdrawn. Yeah, trying to figure something out. Eight of Pentacles. Look at this with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like someone's trying to figure out some something to do with conflict or a deception or something like that it's like you know putting in some sort of work or energy here thought behind this and it, i feel like also it's almost like you're trying to just figure it out and, and 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 maybe you need to figure it out before you make some sort of a decision and that decision could be walking away from something let's look at your person Spirit, tell me about the person that Capricorn is thinking about or dealing with at this time. Okay, tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with, thinking about at this time. Okay, the owl, some, some sort of message, spiritual card, the owl. I feel like this person has something to tell you. They're bringing something. Um, I, I'm picturing someone um, having something in their hand, um, like a gift, flowers, or something to give you. Hold on, let me grab another energy. 
oracle here. Tell me more about this person's spirit. Give me some more insight into this person's energy. For some of you, this person is much older than you. That's only for a small number of you. This person is much older than you. Could even have like white hair or like a beard. Tell me more about this person. We got hidden feelings. Silence, suppression, fear. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. This person, um, they could have be hiding something, causing confusion, and that's why you're in this, this energy. Tell me more about this person. This person could also be um, attached to something from their past. Balancing act, juggling indecision balance. And bottom of the deck, I have inner voice. So it's like, again, intuition is speaking to both of you. And I think it's spiritually guided. You're juggling multiple things at once. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your truth. I feel like this is someone debating whether to open up, express themselves here. Spirit, tell me more about this person. Tell me about this person. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Swords. See, this person has something to tell you. A message. So why the Seven of Pentacles reverse? This is a card about feeling like you've invested in the wrong thing. Like you've wasted your time and energy. Time wasted. Like just in general. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Page of Cups reverse. This has been very disappointing, heartbreaking for this person. They could have even hurt someone else because of their mistake. Two of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. What's this? Ten of Wands. Obligations, burdens, baggage. Now the Two of Pentacles reverse, this is very interesting to me because I feel like there was a balancing act here and um, they couldn't keep it up for whatever reason. One had to be chosen. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands with this Two of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Pentacles. So this has to do with um, some sort of um, hmm. I'm thinking finances here rather than like an opportunity. I'm thinking of finances. It's almost like there was a financial burden or something that like I don't know. It's almost like um, I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I am. That's That has to resonate with someone out there because usually I would say, this is someone that's taking their sweet time bringing you an offer, um, an emotional offer. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Can I get one more please for this Knight of Pentacles. Let's get some clarity. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands reverse. See, there's something not quite right. A lack of harmony in the home, difficulty in the home, family drama. Um, something is not really right. And then have the Six of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck. So it could be that this person cannot leave a situation even though it's, in ba it's off balance. It, there's a burden here. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is some a financial burden. And there's just disappointment and heartbreak here. What does this person want to tell you? What's this Knight of Swords about? 
this is Knight of Swords about? For Capricorn. Five of Wands reverse. Okay. What's this Knight of Swords about, Spirit? Page of Swords. Okay. So this person just wants to speak to you op uh, openly and honestly here. And I feel like it's because they don't they don't want to fight anymore, have drama anymore, or maybe they want to tell you that the drama or the fighting is over. Can I get one more for the Knight of Swords? Five of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like they want to talk about whatever conflict, deception, disappointment happened between you. Yeah, it's like they've been holding back. Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling. Spirit, tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling. So I feel like this person no longer wants to hold back, at least um, when it comes to communication. Okay, we got, I'm struggling. Can I get one more, please? Spirit, give me some insight into this person's thoughts or feelings. I still check up on you. See, it's like you're not really together or talking to each other. Because they're checking up on you and it's like they're struggling without you. Where's all of this headed? I'm gonna pick a couple of cards here. Where is all of this headed for Capricorn and this other person? Where is all of this headed in the near future? Oh my God, we got the tower. What? Something unexpected, shocking, an upheaval. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is going to be... Um, something to do with your person because they have the Knight of Pentacles. Where is all of this headed in the near future? Oh my God. What is this tower? Six of Swords reversed. So either this person's making some sort of a return. Oh my God. And we got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is someone that's definitely walking away. Despite the delays or setbacks, they could even be returning to something or someone um, and I feel like this is going to be shocking, unexpected. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles is someone who is very practical, dependable, reliable, takes their time. They don't rush anything. Um, they're very careful. So it's almost like when I see these two cards together, it's like this was planned. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching and take care.